What's up, everybody? It's me, it's Alexis Maurice, and your boy Trey Hollywood. And it is time for a new episode of The Wine Up. So go ahead and pour yourself a glass of wine. Why are you looking at me like Why'd you say it like that? What? The Wine, wine Up. <laughs> what was that for? For a new episode of The Wine Up. Yeah. So go ahead and pour yourself a glass of wine. Drink. Tonight we're drinking on the Biltmore State Riesling. Mm. Okay, built more out of Asheville, North Carolina. Put on some lip. Put on some lipstick, fellas. Put on some lip chat balm, whatever you put on. Come pull up a chair because we are about to discuss the latest happenings in and around the entertainment industry. Now, before we take our first step, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tumblr. All of that good stuff. Because you know what? We're trying to do what? Come up. All what right, LinkedIn? Sure. Can I share it on LinkedIn? No, that, no. no. LinkedIn is, that's for professional stuff. We're professional. Yeah, but we got jobs. Yeah. No, no. No? You know, everybody don't need to see what's going on in our personal lives. Don't y'all share it on LinkedIn. That is inappropriate. Well, well, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we want to um, have a moment of silence or pay tribute to um, Carrie Fisher. Mm -hmm. Carrie Fisher, of course, is Princess Leia. Leia, yes, Leia yes. from Star Wars. She passed away. I think the day before Christmas, she was on a flight from London coming back here. Mm -hmm. And she went into cardiac arrest or something like that. And she just never recovered. And she passed away. But the gag is... Her mama died the next day. Yeah. Oh my God, that is like terrible. Debbie Reynolds as well. She passed away. So the daughter dies one day and then the, the, I I the mother dies the next day. That's just terrible. I seriously pray for her daughter because um, I hope that she doesn't lose it. Yeah. Her so, daughter plays on Scream Queens. Yeah, Billy Loud or Lord yeah. or whatever is her name or whatever. Lose your mom, then your grandma. All within the same. Two not days. Within, Two, three days. Yeah, that's. That's terrible, man. You know, I, I say that the mom probably died of a broken heart. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that before? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I like when my dad died, him and his the brother behind him, Uncle Raymond, they're like really, really close. And it was one of those things where after my dad died, my uncle just kind of deteriorated. Yeah, you know, he was, just, he was just sad and stuff all the time. And, and eventually he just, you know, he passed away. Right. And I would say over like a three year period, my dad died, his brother Raymond died, then my great grandmother passed away, and then my grandma's brother, my great uncle passed away, mm -hmm. and then my grandma lost two more of her sons, my uncle Taryn and my uncle Richard, and then I think her sister died. So that's like eight people within the in a three year time span. Yeah. So we had a lot of loss, you know, those three years we experienced a lot of loss as well, but um, yeah. we definitely want to, you know, remember. Um, Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds or whatever and all of the people who died in 2016 yeah Robin Thicke I'm mean, not Robin Thicke Alan Thicke Prince George Michael just died or Am whatever I, no he didn't die no did he, he die this year yeah did my mom only die this year yeah he died this year you sure yeah I can look I thought up. it was 2015 but maybe um, we you got so China, yeah. the wrestler. We got Big Ann. She died from um, Mob Wives. David Bowie, a bully. Florence Henderson from the 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 Brady Bunch. Yep. Tommy from Martin or whatever. Shotty Low, you Ooh. know, here from Atlanta. It was just a, a 2016 was a we lost a lot of people in 2016 with Prince alone. Just that's just losing Prince alone. So we just remember those individuals and we just pray that nobody else dies between now and then. It, yeah, who tweeted and said David Reynolds no, this was ignorant. And he's receiving a lot of backlash because of this. He tweeted and said he said David Reynolds died the day after her daughter died. Her daughter did. Black mamas don't die because they, they they kids do. They cry and say God don't make no mistakes. What? Debbie Reynolds died a day after her daughter did. Black mamas don't die because their kids do. They cry and say, God. <laughs> like, why would you Bitch, say that? Bitch, I still got to live. Right. <laughs> he he died. died. I'm Black mama said, well, girl, go on the glory. I'll be there eventually. I'll be there soon. They don't go on and die right but after. But, you know, it's just terrible. It's a terrible thing, you know, for, it was, I think it was my, my dad's mom, my other grandma who said, or I've, I've heard this before that, it's terrible when a parent has to bury their child yes. yeah. or whatever. You know, that's that's a that's a terrible feeling or whatever. And Debbie had, according to TMZ, it was saying that Debbie told the son, 
I don't want to be, you know, with Carrie yeah. or whatever. That's what a lot of people she say. Died the next day, you know, she, that she probably did hard. hard. That if she actually, a lot of people were saying that she probably actually found a way to actually, I don't know, kill herself, overdose. So I don't know what. You know, no. Something, no. something to the no. point of her wanting to actually be with her. No. Um, I don't believe that. So what you were trying to say, whether she committed suicide? White people tend to be crazy. Thing, no, don't put that on white people. Black people commit suicide too. Tracy, you're racist. How am I racist when I'm mixed now, with that shit? Well, so what? You tried to say black people was racist last week. Black people be racist. Black people are racist. I'm trying to know. I'm trying to make a statement that black people can be racist, just like white people can be. That's about, that's my statement was. You were trying to say black people be racist. Black people can be racist. Because there are black people that are racist. Black people are racist because they own kind. Speaking of race, I think this would be a good way to segue into this new topic. So have you guys heard of this show that was coming on A&E called um, Generation KKK? Generation KKK. Now, I, I believe, don't hold me to it, Raynard, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think that the original name of the show was Escaping the KKK. Yeah, I think it was. But now it's called... Generation KKK, and now it's not even called that. So let me got, let me give you the synopsis of what the show was. So the show followed some white people. <laughs> the show followed some white people, um, where you have the people who are over the KKK. I forgot what you call them, Grand Marshals. Grand Marshals. We used to call, call them Grand Marshals. Whatever they are, they call. Supreme. And they were inducting these young kids or these people to become a part of the KKK. But then you have some of the kids who didn't want to be a part of the KKK. Right, right, right. So you got this special task force, Not a task force. of ex racists coming in and trying to help these people escape the KKK. Right, right, right. People were upset because the trailer came out and this show was scheduled to premiere in January. Right. The trailer came out and people were outraged. Oh my God, why are we giving these racists and these bigots a platform? But a &E was like, well, no, it's not really about giving them a platform. We're trying to fight racism, of course, through television programming. Trey, how do you feel about this? This whole, the idea of the KKK having a show where they're actively recruiting new people into their organization and then you have these these former, these reformed races coming in and trying to help the people get out of it. What do you think about that? Uh, my thing is, why are we giving, and people say we're not giving a platform, but to me, I feel like it's a platform. When you put people on television, that's a platform, first right. of all. You give them a show that's based around what you're preaching or what, you're, what you believe in, you give them a platform. Right. It's like if you give a whole bunch of Christian folks a platform, a TV show, you give them a platform to actually maybe make a difference in somebody's life by, you know, showing them why they're Christian or why they believe in God. Mm -hmm. So, when you give people, of uh, uh, white folks, the KKK a show that's a platform to actually where I don't know get into people's heads because you know the, the devil works in different kinds of ways mm -hmm. and so I believe that it was for me I believe it's a stupid show mm -hmm. it would have been something dumb would you have watched it hell no mm -hmm. I, I probably would watch one episode yeah just to see, I, was, I, I like to get some three episodes uh huh just to see what the background and synopsis is because I might need to watch out for some shit that they about to tell me right. on the show exactly. I was gonna. I, I will admit, I was gonna watch it. You're I was sure not. Was. Huh? Of course you was. What? What is that supposed to be? Because you mean? actually give people chances to see what the shit is about. Right. For no damn reason. See, I might have came back later on to watch it. He gonna watch it the first night. Yeah, I would have watched it on the premiere night because I was interested to see exactly what was going to happen on the show. I think I, I saw the trailer and I think they aired like the first you know, the first segment of the show or something like that, and I watched it. Mm -hmm. um, now, the, the real reason why a and &E canceled it, it wasn't necessarily because of the backlash they were getting from viewers, but it was more so because it was found out that production was paying members yep. of the clan to get access or maybe for their participation in the show. Oh, Allegedly, that's, that's what basically happened. Um, so being that this is kind of like a docu-series, I don't know if the participants were getting paid from any, &E, 
but it was found out that the production company who shot the show, they were actually paying them or whatever to get access. That's why they ended up canceling it. Some people felt that that's just the cop out that they gave, but they just didn't want to lose viewers. And because you remember, A and E has been through this before with Duck Dynasty, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they've been through this before with Duck Dynasty. How it was a hit show, you know, bringing in millions of people on. I you watched Duck Dynasty. I love Duck. So how did you feel when the when the the patriarch of the family kind of came out and made those homophobic slash racial Driven comments. I think that it Did was. Did you stop watching it? Because they can't. They, 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 they suspended them, but yeah. they came back, but the ratings wasn't good after that. Yeah, of course, because you know a lot. A lot. The thing about it is probably a lot of African American or homosexuals probably watched that show. Mm -hmm. Me being one of them. But the thing about this is that I, I I didn't feel any type of way because I think that it, I think it might have been taken the wrong way. What do you or mean? I think it might have been came out. I think it might have came out the wrong way. The way it came out. I don't. What came out wrong? With, with their, I guess you would say slurs. Um, what the statements were, um, I don't feel that it was. It was. It, I don't think it was portrayed or, or let's say delivered the way it was supposed to mean. It was supposed to mean. Um, I would not have stopped watching the show. I mean, I did not stop watching the show after it happened because it was a good show. It was funny as hell. You got people who watched that show with that little that little girl with that little, the little girl the little girl with her fat mama. Um, honey boo boo. Yes, you got people. Honey watch, boo boo. You got people watch that dumb shit. So <laughs> why not get the dynasty of you? And it was a good show. So why not give the KKK a view? No. KKK. Really? No. That, that KKK, first of all, <laughs> I know that shit stands for. That's the Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux. No, I call them Clutch because the motherfuckers think they be trying to lock down on somebody. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. I was not going to watch this show. I'll probably give it two episodes to see because I might want to need to learn something. Yeah. Shit. But, okay. I mean, but in, in the long run, you know, and especially when you think about the temperature that we're currently living in right yeah, now with yeah. Donald Trump. You know, becoming president and races becoming more and more vocal again. And, you know, did you see that? There's somebody tweeted about um, just to go back one segment. Basically, they were saying that Donald Trump, you guy, you can take care of Donald Trump too before 2016. Over. <laughs> when I saw that shit, I died. This, you know, it was one who said that Donald Trump is someone else. I forgot who else they said you can take them 2016. <laughs> no, but did you see somebody created a GoFundMe for Betty White and Morgan Freeman? That's what I was trying to say before you cut my ass off a few minutes ago. It was a meme and stuff going around saying that they better not take Betty White and somebody else. They no, said so it was one with uh, Whoopi from um, from the movie Go. So he said, um, <laughs> "Say Madonna, girl, you in trouble." <laughs> <laughs> they was like, "They better Betty White better stay put." Right. So they they better, better stay that. put. So I better get security around her. <laughs> Take Betty White for Series Six Sixteen. People gonna have it out. Now the Trump ain't gonna make it to know that because people are gonna have it out if you take Betty White for. But yeah, with with everything that's going on right now, I just don't think this is the right time for the show. I don't think that this is gonna be the right time for the no show. Right period. Time. Yeah, yes, to give them a platform or whatever. Their voice is something that needs to be stifled. That needs to be muted because we don't need to hear that shit. But I was gonna watch it for a few episodes, maybe one or two, just to see what the hell they was giving because. I don't know. You I'm need just know what's going on. I need to know. I need to get to the bottom of what I the hell is going on. Bro, I feel you. So, moving along, let's talk about Cordell Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> this story just keeps on giving and giving and giving. And it needs to go and it needs to go and it needs to go. So, you guys remember Cordell Stewart, right? He's Portia Stewart, Portia from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. He is her ex-husband. Now remember when Portia joined the cast, she was married to Cordell. Oh, but you know, once she got on TV and she started finding herself a little bit, because she was a little dutiful little wife, they used to make fun of Portia. Portia's really going through a complete She's transformation. A like she Shout also, out to you, Portia Stewart. Portia Williams, my bad. Yes, Portia Williams now, and I don't know about no grown woman, but anywho. That's a grown motherfucking woman. She's making boss moves in this motherfucker. She in these streets. Don't sleep on Portia now. I'm fine ass. I love Portia. Go ahead. Continue about 45 Cordell days Stewart. and 3 weeks, right? Quarter. <laughs> right. Anywho. She might not be counting the holidays and all the other stuff that was coming. She in. didn't even know that the, the Underground Railroad wasn't actually an underground. I didn't know that either. either. No, Trey, you should not even I'm admit playing. that on I'm camera. Playing. I was joking. about to say. Joking. I was about joking. to say. Just wait a damn minute. Joking. But. Of course, after a period of time, it went off the TV. She was really having a blind moment. That's but after the hair goes, whatever, Trey. 
after a period of time, you're healing portion. It's okay. Her and Cordell. That's why she blocked your ass right there. That's why. <laughs> That's why yeah, it's blocked right there. Cause you won't let her be great. Let her be great. She done moved on from that gay man. All of them allegedly. All of them had gay men. Allegedly, Kenya done had a gay man. Who was Kenya's gay man? The the guy from the season, the one who he was, was not gay. That man. The first guy. The, the first, one, the first one she uh, Walter. Yes, that was gay. Should I think which one the other one is too? I'm just saying. Matt. Quiet as kept. No, Matt ain't no homosexual. Simply a man gay, he be like Peter. He be like boys get him head at the club no, in Charlotte. No, see, see, that's how rumors get started. And that's what I'm here for. He let people get head in the club. No, the club. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are so inappropriate. Greg, Craig is Craig. What is it? Greg or Craig? Greg. That's Nene's husband. What's his name? Craig. Greg. Greg. Greg's the only one that's straight. The only other man they gay. Todd ain't gay. See. I am no way connected if Candy with gay, this particular individual if right Candy here. Gay, we just come together every swingers. week to shoot a show. That's Swing. it. Oh, we're not but friends. Anywho, this? No, we're not we're friends. Not friends. We're no this? longer friends. Our friend contract has expired. But anywho, Burn that shit. moving along. Burn that shit. So after a period of time, Cordell and Portia, you know, they split ways. They divorced mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, yes. And, you know, there were rumors that Cordell had been caught with the, like a he, she, a um, man. Uh, a man that dresses up or lives their life as a woman, a transgender, out at the, you know, the strip, prostituting and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and then you also have, um, what's that guy's name? The one who I've been delivered. Yeah, I've been delivered. Andrew Caldwell. You know, Andrew Caldwell came out and said that him and Cordell Stewart had an affair for quite some time. This before he was delivered? This was before he was delivered. Mm -hmm. With the T, you have to put the T on it. Mm -hmm. Yes, before he was delivered. Never me! So now, and, and Cordell even took Andrew to court behind that foolishness or whatever, right. saying that, you know, it was defamation of character. But anyway, fast forward, of course, to this past week, where there's now a tape that surfaced of Cordell booted showing up. us his eggplant, booted. or lack thereof. Um, and child, not only that, Cordell is showing his ass on the TV, I mean, on the TV screen as well, too. So, you know, now all this controversy, allegedly, Funky Donnie was the first one who broke the story. And he was saying that it was a Cordell's ex-lover, saying that he was tired of Cordell controlling him and blah, blah, blah. So yep. he wanted to expose him. Yes, Cordell, the guy who allegedly gave Funky Donnie the, the video was a man. Mm -hmm. And he said that Cordell sent him. Did you see the video? Yes. So what did you think? About the cakes? What about his eggplant? You know, since you're a homosexual. I don't, I don't use that. I don't, I don't use him. <laughs> you didn't use it, but what about his cakes? It's, it, it wasn't cute at all. He got a big butt, Trey. I mean, he played football. Yeah, he do. Cordell had a big ass. But now, of course, so... It looks stank. It didn't look stank to you? <laughs> the, but the thing about it is, there was no sound on the video. But then you can tell that it looks stank, though. <laughs> There was no sound on the video, so we don't know exactly what he was saying. Who releases a damn video without sound? We need to hear exactly what he said. I mean, as long as we can hear what he said, that would actually put all of the rumors to rest. I got you know? videos I don't see without sound. I mean, but what is the point of doing that? I'm saying, if you're trying to expose somebody, why the hell are you going to release a video with not no damn sound? Let us hear what the fuck he's talking about, which leads me to believe, to think, that it's not a man who he was talking to. Maybe he was actually talking to a female. So because if we listen to the audio, it might reveal that he was talking to a woman. So they did say there was some editing going on in this video. There was some 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 tampering with the I video. I mean, we saw the lights go on and off, and he moved from one room, and then he came back in the room yeah, and showed so, his so ass. So what it could possibly but be, but still, either way. to see some man's ass. But either way, if, even if it was his ex-girlfriend, why the fuck you tooted and booted? That's what I'm saying. Like, what man shows another woman his ass? I don't, I mean, I, you about to get women, deal, though. I mean, do y'all like to see men's asses or whatever? Ain't you no don't want woman to see you a nude this. or a video with his ass? I'm going to just say this for me and come and have a conversation with my sister. Ain't no real woman uh -huh. going to want to see no real man tooted and motherfucking booty. He wasn't tooted and booty. He just showed his ass. You act like he was 
bent over like ah show the world. It wasn't he was modeling like that. that. He was, he modeling. was modeling. He had a little birthmark on the right. bottom right. Hand side. He was modeling too. So oh, ain't no real woman. It was a man that he was suiting the booty for. It might have been a transgender. It might have been a, a, a man who just dressed up as a, a, a woman. It could have been all this. But the thing about it is, is that it's still I always believe the man was gay. I told you all the men on there are gay. Todd. Um, Trey, you want to say that? Uh, why not? Because I don't believe that. I don't think Todd's a homosexual. Okay, wait. Wait to two. Wait to two. Well, two Cordell like, has a conspiracy theory that Portia released the tape to bring the bullshit back to all of us. Oh, but if the case may be, bring it back. Do you think back. Portia released that yeah, tape? Yeah, let me tell you. I feel like Portia. I'm not just saying this because I love Portia. I'm not just saying this. But I feel like Portia is in her life right now. At point in her life right now, why do this? Yeah. Like for what? She even stated that I have not spoken to him yeah. since we signed for our divorce. Yeah. Like I don't feel like she, what was what what is she gonna get out of it? But that's a complete. Did he hit her up and do something to her? What the jilted lover said to Funky Daniva saying that him and Portia still was communicating that they still be fucking every now and then too. But that's what he said. I feel like I'm beyond. And he would like, like, still give her money and stuff like I that. I feel like Portia head that got so big that she looked. Probably look past that shit, <laughs> like Cordell. His late ass. Yes, and his 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 eggplant ain't really the eggplant for her to be really pressed to go back to that shit. Mm -hmm. So more like a little hot dog. So I'm, no, I don't believe Porsche had anything to do with it. I think that Cordell is fucking around with somebody else right now, who he's pissed off, and they decided either it's a male or female to leak these videos. It could have been it could have been a female who's friends with a gay guy who said, you know, girl, I'm going to leak these videos for you, and boom, it's leaked. And now he's trying to put it back on Porsche because he's trying to make this person happy. Up, but the crazy shit. thing is, I mean, but why release those? My thing is, okay, why? What? What's the purpose of it? Cordell ain't nobody who everybody checking for he anyway. Ain't checking for him. We don't forget about him. So a I seasons ago, I don't know. It's it's just weird. Is it? Is it? Did he have a gay lover? He said he came on TMZ and said that he it is he's no way, shape, form, or anything involved with the man at all. Period. He's not involved with the man. And that, you know, um, Portia was the one who released it. Portia said she's not even thinking about him, like you said. And have a Merry Christmas. Andrew Caldwell said that he's here for Portia. And, and it's just the truth is finally coming out me, about Cordell. Just say Cordell, I'm going to say this. And I'll let you speak. Okay, go ahead. If it's true that if it comes out, in fact, that you are involved with men, trans men, whatever, you're going to look like a damn fool. Like, seriously, because you're going out of your way yeah, like to fool. say that it's not this, I'm not doing this. It's, I'm just, I'm, I'm at the point where if you gay or if you're on the down low, bitch, just come on out. You know, your career is already over. You sit no millions. You good. I don't, maybe it's because of his son. You know, he doesn't want, he's still raising this little boy, so he don't want his little boy to get caught up in that foolishness. What are you thinking? Well, uh, what were you about to say? Uh, I was just going to say this. For the gay men, for, okay, for the men who are like Cordell, well, okay, let's say it this way. For the men who are battling with their sexuality, ones who may be in the closet, ones who may sit here and say, you know what, I'm not gay, I'm not, this video, this, this rumor, blah, 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 blah. Do not think that you being in the closet, Okay, maybe I shouldn't go this direction because I'm going to go spiritual here. All right, do not think that you being in the closet is going to make you have a better relationship with God than an, than an openly, gay, openly gay man. Don't think that people are going to criticize you. are going to criticize you more or talk about you more when you see you tell these lies that you're not and then eventually say, and then eventually comes out that you are. So, for a situation like this, Ricardo, I believe that, I believe that he is probably battling with his sexuality. Closet. closet. Let's say that. I mean, he is closeted and I feel like uh, um, someone is trying to put him out and he's trying to cover it up and he's trying to put it back on Portia so he can cover up the fact well, somebody that somebody is trying man. to put his ass out. Why are people obsessed with putting Cordell Stewart out? That's that's my thing. Because he's a bitch. What is the bitch. obsession? He's not even a, like he was he was good. What was it? Slash Thrash? What was his name? When he was playing for the Steelers or whoever he was playing for. <laughs> my thing is that was eons ago. Like yeah, why well. are people consistently trying to expose him? It just, maybe it is something there. Because I don't you know, know how I don't you know, know how homo I don't know what you know how homosexual man is. They feel some type of way about something or something like that, so they feel they gotta put somebody out. They gotta out their business. That is not cool. That's Stop not cool out the people business or yeah, whatever the case that's why, that's that why that man don't wanna come out, don't let don't force him to come out. But Cordell, I mean, damn girl, like that's why there has to be a level of respect. Just like say for example, the individual that I'm talking to now, I we we both express 
Any personal information that we've asked? Problem? No. Yeah. Uh, the individual that you're talking to that now. I'm, that I'm dating. Right. Yeah. Keep on working. We have expressed that any personal information. Who's the new flavor of the week this week? First of all, we met back in September, so we've been talking since then. He's the flavor this week, though. Anyway, go ahead. Really? Really? You just gonna disrespect me every episode. I'm not disrespecting you. How did I disrespect you last episode? Well, you, the whole mama situation. I did not mean that like that, oh, Trey. Okay. It was taken like that. <laughs> but when I say you start dating somebody, don't make it seem like I'm dating somebody every other week. Because he does watch the show. And I would hate to have this discussion with him. Hey, Trey, boyfriend. He's not a boyfriend. I said we're dating. Hey, Trey's date. Any. Who? Right. Moving on. Like I was but stated, you do like. Yeah. Who? Change me like you change drawers. Really? You do. So when the last time I was dating someone? Since we were going to get on this topic. <sighs> anyway, carry on what right, you're saying. Right, because I've been single going on, uh, on going You've on been this. single, but you've definitely mingled, bitch. It's okay to date. Yeah, I have. I have dated. How did we get on the love, um, for the love of Trey? I ain't finna go that Trey. Anyway, what were you saying? I was saying? Get to the point. We had the discussion that any private information, just to be respectful of each other, to if, if we were to, to 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 break up, if we would end up being together, or if we just stop talking, that we want to leak information like that. But no, stuff. I mean, That's I feel like nobody should do that. Right, but, but people even not even that. relationships, but with friendships. Right. Remember the argument he was having about Candy and Phaedra? Everybody thought that Candy leaked something, but I don't feel that Candy leaked anything when it came to yes, the Yes, you do. You but were agree last week. Okay, that was a small piece, but it wasn't nothing that big. But we're not finna, I digress, we're not finna go backwards. We're moving oh. forward. We're moving into 2017. Oh. I mean, Cordell, it is what it is. Oh. Moving along, change. So you got anything else you want to say about that? About who? Cordell? Cordell. I didn't want to talk about him, but sure. No, no. <laughs> Let's talk about Tiny and T.I. Oh, my heart is broken, God. So there's a lot of rumors out there circulating mm. that Tiny has filed for divorce mm. with T.I. To the point where mm. TMZ actually re re reported that mm. in Henry County, County there are filed legal documents saying that Tiny is, um, you know, um, not applying for divorce, but she's filing for, <laughs> oh, for divorce. I'm applying so for tell divorce. Me, how, you fit this, how you fit this, um, this role? That well, you here's what I think. <laughs> but that she's filed for divorce. Yeah, man. Now, neither so party, is. neither party has confirmed nor denied the accusations that are out there. But it's hard how to be do a you feel about that? It's hard to be a celebrity because still, you got situations like this. Oh. There's been rumors that they're in divorce. There's been rumors that Kim Kardashian is filed for divorce with Kim, Kanye West. Yeah. It's like when you're a celebrity, you just be making up shit. You just make up shit. Yeah. Like I, I, when, I, when I become famous, people gonna be like, "Man, Trey's gay." And I'm like, "What the fuck are these rumors coming from?" <laughs> well, that's not a rumor. That's true. You're a homosexual. But I put up what I'm saying is. No point. You made no point, Trey. <laughs> I know I was being funny. But no. That wasn't funny. No one laughed. To me it was. Okay? No one laughed. It doesn't matter what you feel. But to me it was. But I just feel like being a celebrity is hard. Because you know, it's like getting up going to work every day. You get tired of going to your job. Like, oh my God, I don't want to be here. I wish the weekend would hurry up. You know what I'm saying? You have those things like this, you're just over it. You're just over it. And as a celebrity, you get put where you get tired of these so called rumors, just like, um, mm -hmm. What's her name? Gary Union. There was a rumor about her being pregnant and she retweeted that Ninja said she was pregnant and she was like, look, let's go ahead and have drinks and celebrate this pregnancy that I continuously, this continuous rumor that I keep having. It's like, where the fuck did these rumors come from? So for Tiny, for Tiny and T.I. to have not spoke or even publicly say anything about this. But Tia, who, who came up with this fucking rumor? But according to TMZ, there are legal documents Can in I'm Henry County saying that she filed for divorce. Are they old? Are they new? We don't know. Can a rumor that two point Three million dollars to sit in my bank account. Now I get more than that shit in my bank account. Like, can, can somebody stop this rumor and like this shit happen? Like, Trey's you know what rich, bitch. He's very rich, rich okay? bitch. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just feel like I, I not. Just, I, really, I really, I really love them together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they really complement each other. Like it was just like it was kind of like a a night and day type of thing. And they just that's smart man. Ti is a smart man. And Ti, 
Young Tiny, I feel like she's a smart woman. Well, you know, it's it's been said. You know, they've had issues, rough patches over the years. Yeah. We had, of course, the 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 incident with Mayweather. I think it was back in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah where there was a picture, patch, yeah. or, you know, with him and Tiny and Ti got mad. There was a brawl in Vegas somewhere, mm -hmm. and there was another picture, another video that surfaced recently this year, a couple months ago. I think around Halloween, where he was, you know, where she was dancing oh, yeah. with him at Mariah Carey's Halloween party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was um, you know, there was issues saying that T.I. was very controlling or whatever and that, you know, he's a womanizer or whatever because she had that little show with um, Toya and he told him she can't participate anymore. He blocked Shekinah from participating in the show. It's, it's just a lot of reports or, you know, rumors out there that he's very controlling and he's womanizing. But I mean, I mean that's how we are. But... Neither party has confirmed nor denied the accusations. So this is a story that we are going to continue to follow because yeah. I mean both Ti and Tiny just um, posted that video of Christmas with the little girl driving the little car. Oh my god, so that was cute. the cutest thing in the that world. Was that was a freaking adorable. Oh, it was so adorable. He was like, "Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to get out the car." Right. <laughs> that was just too cute. They just had a new baby. I don't know. They've been together since 2010, six right? Years. So six years or yeah. whatever. They yeah. have two, four, three so kids four seasons, together. Four seasons of yeah, Family Hustle. So that's not. I don't know. Is, is that gonna kill the show or whatever? Yeah. If it is true, you, I mean, you can carry, continue on without Tiny. No, no. Yeah, just I be, don't be a different so. home. I mean, let me say it this way: not continue with Tiny, just do the separate homes. No, it, it's, it's about family, so the togetherness of family. That's the thing. It's still a family, even if they're not separated. My Which mom and dad got divorced, so we're still a family. Right. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Hollywood Happenings. Of what? And, oh. <laughs> we want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Wine Up. The Wine Up. Mm -hmm. The Wine Up. And we will talk with you guys, of course in the new year. Happy New Year Happy to new each year. and every one of you. And we will see you guys on the other side. 2017. Thank you.